Good morning, boys and girls. Today we're going to be doing chapter nine, lesson four, measures of variation. We're going to start this video by talking with this first video talking about the vocabulary and some of the things we're going to be discussing throughout this entire lesson. All of this vocabulary will be on the PowerPoint that you should have gone through before watching this video. Okay, so our first item is range. The range of a data set is the difference between the greatest value and the least value. So you're gonna find that by taking the highest number in the data set and subtracting the lowest number from it, and that gives you the range. Our next item two, and this, is, this one's really important to understand, are what quartiles are. Quartiles are simply taking the data set and dividing it into four equal parts. The important ones are Q1 and Q3. Now, oddly enough, you already know what Q2 is. Q2 is actually the median. So Q1, if we take the data set from the lowest number, the least value, to the median, and pretend that that's one data set, and then find the median of that, we have found Q1. And then on the other half, the, from the median to the greatest value, we find the median of that portion, and that will be Q3, and that will divide it into our four equal parts. Q1 is the median of the lower half, Q2 is the median of the whole data set, Q3 is the median of the upper half, and actually Q4, which we don't really refer to it, is the greatest value. That's how it separates the four quartiles or four quarters of the data. Now with that, we're gonna be discussing something called the IQR, and that stands for interquartile range. The interquartile range is the difference between the third quartile, Q3, and the first quartile, Q1. And this is why Q1 and Q3 are so important to find. So to find the IQR, after we have determined what Q1 and Q3 are, we subtract Q3 minus Q1 to determine our IQR. From there, we're also gonna be talking about outliers. Remember, in previous lessons, we've talked a little bit about it. I said we weren't gonna be doing much. Now we're going to be doing quite a bit with outliers. For an outlier, we're gonna take the IQR, the value, and multiply that by 1.5, and we will end up subtracting it from Q1 to get our lower limit, and adding it to Q3 to get our upper limit. And we'll discuss that in our next example.